welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Risa. If you're new here, welcome. You guys, I am super excited today. I don't know if it's just me, but I have just been in a rut since the holidays has been over. Are you guys feeling that way? I am not able to get back into the groove, but today hopefully will be the start of me getting back into my space my creative space because we are in rally today so excited we are going to golden oldies i am committed okay committed to bringing something because i booked a one-way ticket one way what does that mean i will be driving to florida with my items so i don't know what we're gonna find but yeah, it's better be, it better be worth it. Golden oldies, let's see what they got up in here. Okay, the price is here. They have all the boys. This would be cute, but I don't like that. What's it called? Oh, I like this too. So I wonder if I should get this one. This. I like the color of this. I think it's a medium. Oh, look at that. The side table is so nice. Have these wooden bowls, which are perfect for a console table. Look at this little trinket. Oh, the furniture is so nice in here. They have wooden everything. Wooden everything. And they have these beautiful trays. Which I might have to get one. So they really don't have prices on these things. This one's eighteen fifty. Oh, look at this! Oh my gosh! I wonder how much this is. Are you a picture of the face? Face I wasn't even 
maken moest. really a vintage like shop the woodwork is so beautiful this is so nice this one is really nice and it comes with a ledge have a lot of trinkets oh this is pretty these are stamps You know, I think that they install these to keep them closed because a lot of them have it. It's the same as the etching of it. It's like a sword. <laughs> Are you mocking me? No, no, no. Oh, here's some um, words. The breakboard. They don't have a lot to This look like I can get it from home goods. What you said? It looked like Peter Gray. I don't like that one. Mm -hmm. That one was bad. Worse. Worse though. That one's okay. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's so... Brittany got good taste. Brittany done got it. 
Child, Brittany. Brittany. Brittany got the good. This is cute. So what? I'm gonna give you another visor. He said it's only, what, $18? Mm -hmm. That ain't nice. Yeah. Not get in the fast markets, especially for nine fifty. Hey guys, as you can see, I am home, and you guys, I had an amazing time. There were rolls and rolls of items, furniture, styling accessories, decor pieces. It was just. It was just a, an amazing experience and a definitely must go. You must go if you're in the area or if you're not in the area, it is some place where it's worth taking a trip up there. Because it was so much stuff, as I was editing this video, I was seeing things that I should have gotten. And then I also saw things that was uh, surprising or concerning. I'm just gonna go ahead and show you some items that I picked up and yeah let's get into it the first thing is going to be these wooden trays so I picked these up because they were only $18 and um, they are reflected as vintage now I do have some risers some um, one I got from McGee & Co but that is in a mango wood and it's quite dark so I just wanted to get some um, white oak wooden risers and these are pretty thick as y'all saw that they had an abundance amount of different shapes and sizes I like this chunky profile that this one has and it's different from what I have um, now, I did notice that they do not keep prices on their accessory items. So, the prices were definitely available on the larger pieces, such as the furniture pieces. But when it comes to these smaller, um, smaller styling accessories, they did not have the prices on there. So, that was kind of annoying because you, I was, I found myself always reaching out to one of the sales associates but these were $18 which is amazing for what you're getting they are indicating that they are um vintage and their um description is wooden patella so yeah I really love let me put this on mute I really love the look of these, the worn um, profile, and you can even stack these if you would like on a shelving unit or on like a console. But I really love the way that this looks, and I am super excited. Their prices are definitely reasonable. Now, um, I would say they are more in the lines of Olive Atelier, but it could be a tad bit cheaper but i their prices were fairly reasonable and i believe i will definitely be going back now one thing that i was gunning for when i um arrived was these catch-all di dishes these are marble and i got them in a variety of sizes fairly similar sizes 
but I wanted um, a couple of them so that I can stack them or I can use them on its own. I love the look of a single wick candle on little trays like this. So I definitely wanted to get um, a few that I would be able to utilize in different places of the house. Um, you can go ahead and use um, this as a as a catch-all tray or even a jewelry dish. Just placing this in the guest bathroom for when your guest comes over, they can um, secure their jewelry in here or their delicate pieces in here. It's just a very useful accessory to have. Now, I believe these were $16. So these were actually $15. So, I mean, I think that that was so reasonable for um, a marble dish because these are quite heavy. So, you guys, you have to go. You have to take a trip there. I'm, I'm just saying you have to take a trip there. Um, another item that I got was this vintage clay pot. Now, I have a couple of these. They're in a white version, um, but I did want to get this because I wanted to style it together to give it that tiered look. So, I opted for one of these, and it's saying that it's vintage, you guys. So, I really thought that this was really nice so that I can pair it with the other one that I have. But, yeah, I really thought that this was a cute item. So in the clips you probably saw my sister and I going through the wooden bowls or the wooden trays. They're more like bowls. They had a variety of options and a lot of it was looking kind of suspect, but this one I really liked. It is in this neutral wooden color. I did want to actually add this to my collection. I don't have a wooden one. I have more of a stone virgin so I wanted to pick this up to bring some versatility to my collection so I really think that this will be a great addition to my styling pieces um, still talking about wooden trays I got this wooden tray that actually has this detailing on the edges of it this profile if you can see that I really love this. This is described as a wooden round bowl with handles. And I have something similar to this, but that one is quite larger than this one. And I did like how um, small this one was and the profile of it. Once again, I was looking for trays or bowls with a lower profile because these are easy to layer when styling. Just adding a candle on top with possibly some foliage on the side or yeah it's just a good piece to have in your collection and being that i was there and i'm not close to that area i wanted to make sure that i was implementing these types of pieces to my collection so that i have that versatility when i am pulling stuff to style the house so yeah, I am enjoying, I am glad that I got this. This is saying that it's from India. This one's from India. A lot of their stuff is from India. Now, I wanted to show you a vessel that I got. And it is this white, chalky white um, vessel with these little adorable handles and it is more of a chunkier vessel I think this is probably like I would say that this is more like 13 inches high but it is very chunky and different from what I currently have so I thought that this would be a great piece to style with other vases or it could be singular and just have like a few stems coming out of it. It is quite chalky and messy. Um, I don't know how that is going to last, but because it's so heavy, I'm going to um, put some little feet at the bottom because I don't want this scratching. Like I'm scared to put it on my table because I don't want it to scratch it. But 
yeah I'm gonna put some little rubber feet on the bottom of it but I really thought that this was super cute it was actually on the table as soon as you walk in there was a ton of vessels now um I really thought that they would have more than what was there even though that was a lot I just thought because of the size of the place they'll have more but he said in the spring is when they will get more inventory regarding the vessels but yeah I got that I think that one was considered a medium so I got that for $65 and it's quite big compared to other um, shops that you would get $65 worth you will get a little vessel like this but I'm super happy with that purchase now this last piece is my all-time favorite okay so my last piece was this beautiful beauty here it is a floor um vessel this is the biggest vessel that i currently have and it is just so beautiful i love the chalky look it has to it now this let me take this off quick story about this this was on the table as you walk in. When I selected it, she actually was surprised that it was in the building because this was supposed to be outside where they have their larger vessels. And obviously they are priced at a higher price tag. This one, she gave me $80, $80. And I know this was up in the probably 200, two, 300. I mean, yeah, this is my favorite piece. I love the stature of it. And I just love um, the chalkiness of the paint and the dimensions. Like the, ch the paint is chipping and then it's exposing this beautiful um, surface area of the pottery. Oh, it's just so beautiful. And then obviously you guys know I'm a sucker for the little double handles and everything about this piece i love obviously i bought this along with this one to like pair it together or i can just leave it by itself but this piece i am so happy that i got but yeah this is one of my favorite pieces and i cannot wait to style it in the house and I hope you guys stay tuned, subscribe, so that you can see how I style all of these pieces in the upcoming videos. And I truly recommend you guys to visit them if you're in the area or if you're on the East Coast, just take a trip. I, I drove by myself, okay? Back to Florida, okay? If I can do it, you can do it. <laughs> I purposely did that because the last trip I took to North Carolina, I had the kids and the husband in the car. Ain't no room to bring back nothing. Yeah, I learned my lesson. So I did my one-way ticket and I did my one-way ticket and drove back. It was so peaceful, serenic. I took my time and drove back to Florida with my items. I know that's right. But anywho... I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, please make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know what you guys think. If you guys are going to take the trip, let me know in the comments below. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!